Let me set the scene. We're six months away from the Tokyo Olympic Games and 23 swimmers from a 30 swimmer team from one nation, and I'll talk about the nation in a second, test positive for a performance enhancing drug, a banned substance you're not allowed to take in swimming or any athletics for that matter because it gives you such an unfair and unnatural benefit and also is detrimental to your health. They can have effects that you don't want. You can have a heart attack and die. You can have liver failure in a few years. Um, and they test positive. And then the nations, the federations, anti-doping, get in touch with World Anti-Doping, WADA, and they say, look, we've had this, uh, this unfortunate scenario. We had 23 of our, of our swimmers test positive, but they were clearly contaminated in something they were doing. And instead of World Anti-Doping saying, that's a load of crap, you're just talking absolute BS, World Anti-Doping said, ah, that seems fair. Yeah, we'll just let it slide. We won't tell anyone in the world about this. Um, until it gets leaked three years later. We won't tell anyone in the world about this, and we'll just let you go and swim at the Olympics, to which this team won six medals and three golds. Now, the team I'm talking about is China. It's Chinese swimming that had 23 swimmers test positive, six months before the Tokyo Olympics, and three of them swimmers um, are very high profile. One of them is Zhang Yufei. She won the 100 200 butterfly at the Olympic Games in Tokyo. One of them is Chin Haiyang, the new world record holder in 200 breaststroke, the first man in history to do the triple 50, 100, 200 breaststroke last year at the World Championships. All eyes are on him versus PT this summer. In my opinion, that race shouldn't happen because Chin should not be going to the Olympics if everything we're finding out about is true. And the other guy is Wang Shun, the winner of the 200 IM at the Olympics in Tokyo, just beating out Duncan Scott, who should be an Olympic champion in my opinion. And Wang Shun also went the third fastest 200 IM in history last year going 154.6. Suspectly, six weeks after the World Championships, where he didn't even make the final, he come eighth in the final going 157. Six weeks later, Asian Games, home soil, drops a 154.6 that would have beaten Leon Marchand. And um, yeah, it's all absurd. I just can't believe if this scenario is completely as we're being reported, as it's being reported by multiple newspapers, the Herald Sun, and Wada have come out to say there's a lot of misinformation with this and how they were very thoughtful with this process and it's all above board. Um, but they've not denied the 23 swimmers tested positive, so at least that is factual. If this is factual, I cannot believe this is possible. Like, an entire team, that'd be like an entire centre in one country, all testing positive, and instead of being like, oh, clearly this centre is cheating, being like, oh, this centre's just been contaminated. And contamination at this level doesn't happen. I've worked with some of the best athletes in the world. I've coached them. I've seen how methodical, how calculated they are when it comes to what they put in their body, the supplements they take. They don't take anything. They don't just walk into a store and be like, oh, I need some new creatine. Yeah, what's that? Yeah, that's cheaper than that one. We'll just grab that one and start popping them like they're candies. They're very calculated. That's why they don't fail drug tests because they don't put anything in their body that's illegal. But clearly, when you do fail a drug test, you have put something in your body that's illegal. And it's not contamination. It never is contamination. It's just a, an easy cop out. And I just, I just don't like it. And the sad thing is, when Chin Haiyang really burst onto the scene last, last summer, everyone was commenting on my post saying, he's definitely a cheat. China have a bad history of doping and all of this. And I said, hey, this guy's never been caught. This guy's never failed a test. This guy's never had any history. Well, that lasted not very long, did it? And I'm the schmuck who defended him last summer because, uh, well, now he has actually failed a test and no one ever knew about it. And I think that's half the absolute terrible thing here is this hasn't been reported. No one, how was this like swept under the rug? How was this just kept quiet? Why would, did no one find out about this? Even if Wada said that they put loads of super scientists on the case and all of them thought it was plausible because the small amounts of drugs that they had in their system meant that they, uh, the contamination is possible. Why did they not report that so at least we knew what was going on? Instead, absolutely nothing. Stum, quiet. And now they're like responding to it because it's come out from another source. It's, it's been leaked or whatever. Um, and it's all over the news. I've had so many people almost like not wanting to believe it. This is the reality of our sport. You know, people work so hard for so long. And there's entire federations or national teams cheating taking drugs that make them faster. And in my honest opinion, if I had my way and I was in charge of the IOC or whatever, I would rid the pool decks this summer from China. I wouldn't have any of their swimmers race because you just can't trust them at this point. This is, 
This just shouldn't have happened. This is unheralded. It's disgusting. And I'm super sad to hear this is happening in a sport I love so much. I'm just a swimming fan at the end of the day. Um, and I'm really disappointed to hear it. Anyhow, let me know what you think about this case. Maybe you have some more information on this whole thing. I'm, I'm no scientist. I'm no pharmacist. Um, but the drug that they all had in their system is the same one that Sun Yang had tested positive for in years past. So clearly it's a favorite of the Chinese. They love using this particular drug. It's a drug that um, is, treated, is used to treat angina or heart problems. Um, the name's weird, so I'm not going to say it because I'll butcher it. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. Maybe I'm missing a piece of evidence. Maybe we'll see things change over the coming weeks and maybe we'll find some information that is less damning or more damning. And maybe some action will be taken. I'm just reporting what I've read over various news outlets today and letting you know the ins and outs of it. But yeah, I'm interested to know what you think and what should be done. Thanks for watching. As always, I'll see you on the next one. And uh, press the like, subscribe, all them buttons as well if you want more swimming content.